Okay, guys, welcome to um, the rest of part two of this uh, how to create a realistic alley scene in Blender tutorial. Okay, um, what just happened is I recorded um, the finishing, texturing, the trash can, and the ground, and the walls, and I found out that Cam Studio, which is what I use, um, it crashes after you record two gigs of video. So I just uh, did all the rest of it, and then when I tried to save the file, it said it couldn't save it. So, um, I'm going to keep this shorter segments, because I didn't really know that until just now, that, uh, yeah, if it goes over 2 gigs, it doesn't even let you know, and then when you try to save the file later, it doesn't, and then you lose your file. So, okay, let's get on with this. And when we left last time, um, I mentioned that the shadows in our render were um, a little bit too soft, after I'd made them softer. So, just click on the sun lamp out here. Um, change the soft size from 6 down to 4, and that should be good. Alright, so the next thing we're going to do is uh, go ahead and UV unwrap this uh, trash can and add a texture to it. Now when we did this um, board, what we did was we you know, went into edit mode, added some scenes, and then we simply went and arranged our UV layout then after that, we exported the UV layout to GIMP and use that as a guide for painting on our texture. Now, um, this is very useful for, especially when you're doing something like, let's say, a character that has a very complex UV layout. Um, you would simply un unwrap your character, arrange all the UV layout here in the UV image editor, and then export it as an SVG and open it to GIMP and then use the uh, use it as a guide to make your texture. But for the trash can, we're going to do something a little bit different because I'm going to assemble a texture in the GIMP and then apply it to this trash can. So what we're going to do is we're going to simply open the image in the UV image editor and then I will unwrap the trash can and adjust the UV layout to match our texture. So the first thing I'm going to do is just uh, unwrap this trash can. So, um, okay, let's just close out this window. I had to just undo some stuff that I'd done previously. When, uh, before it crashed. Okay. Um, yeah. Let's see. Let's go into right ahead into uh, edit mode. Um, control tab and select edge mode. And we're going to um, just go into our first layer to hide our camera and stuff. And I'm going to select this and press H to hide it so it's out of the way. Go back into edit mode and we're going to add a seam obviously on the back of the trash can where you can't really see um, it from the camera's point of view. So hold down Alt and right click there, hold down Alt, right click here, and hold down Alt and right click here. And now you can see we have all this entire edge selected from the top and to the bottom. And we press Control E and mark seam. There's now a seam there. And if you recall from the first part of this tutorial, all this trash can is is simply a cylinder that has been modified and added some detail. So it will unwrap very easily um, into a rectangle without having to do anything complex. Now the lid, though, is um, could be a little bit harder. Go into edit mode. Um, Alt, right click here. Oops, not there. Here, here, until we have um, the seam, the uh, selected edges going from here to the middle of the trash can. Hit Control E and again mark seam. And finally, we need to add a seam to the handle. So I'll hold Alt and right click this back corner, right there. Control E, mark seam, and there we go. All the seams are added. And we are now ready to you uh, go actually into the GIMP and make our texture. So, open up the GIMP and open, um, let's see, yeah, I'm going to put a galvanized metal texture on it where um, I have the links below in the description for you to download as well as a blend file. And it's called Metal Galvanize. This one um, it's going to be a main texture for our trash can. Now what I want to do is overlay a rust texture um, on top of it. So I'm going to File, Open as Layers, and Rust Leak is the one I want, Open. And if this um, texture is not already um, above the back, this uh, galvanized texture, um, select the rust one and click the little green arrow and it will pop it above. Okay, so now as you notice, it's not quite the same size as um, the galvanized melt texture, although it's the same width, which is kind of nice. So all I'm going to do is select this uh, rust layer, go up into layer, and scale layer, 
uncheck this little link thing so it doesn't uh, scale it proportionally. And you notice up here it says um, 2240 by 1680, which is the size of a larger image, which is our leaky texture. So all we need to do is uh, match the height to 1680. And if you scale, there we go. Now click on here, right click on this uh, layer and click add layer mask and grayscale copy of layer is good and you want to invert the mask. Click add and right away you notice something happens. So now um, if you just left click on the mask right here and then right click on it, make sure edit layer mask is enabled. Okay, and then go into colors, uh, brightness and contrast and we're going to bump the contrast all the way up. And now by um, adjusting the brightness, you can see we can adjust how much of the rust texture is left on the galvanized texture. And I'll say um, somewhere about right there is pretty good. Okay. Now you want to right click on the mask layer and apply layer mask. And okay. All we need to do now is make sure both of these layers are um, visible. And save as. I'm going to save it as um, a PNG. Let's see. Um, save it as Metal Galvanized Trash Can 2 Finish PNG or whatever. Okay. And there we go. Save. Yeah, replace it as from the previous tutorial. Make sure you do uh, merge visible layers so that the layers are, which are visible, which are both layers, the rust and the galvanized texture, will be exported in your texture. And just hit export. Okay, now it's done saving. Go back into Blender. And click on this bottom trash cam. Hit new and turn the specular all the way down. And you might be wondering, um, isn't this trash can supposed to be a little bit shiny? And yes it is, but we're going to be using a specular map instead. Um, and when you use a specular map, you gotta make sure you turn the intensity down, otherwise you'll have um, double intensity values, meaning you'll have um, intensity coming from this sort of um, global specular. And then you also have values determined by your texture, but we only want um, the values to be determined by the texture and not by this value down here. So I'm just call it trash can. Okay, go into your texture panel, click new texture, um, I'm going to call this diffuse for the color, I'm going to click miniature movie, and put this to UV, and the color is good, press open, and there it is, and right away if you go into texture mode, you can see that um, the texture has been applied right there. Ha ha ha. Actually, I already UV unwrapped this in my uh, previous crash tutorial, so I'm going to have to show you that guy. Show you guys that again. So, okay, assuming this is not correct, um, what I need to do now is go into UV Image Editor, close out my render, go into edit mode in here, select everything. And okay, I'm gonna hit U and unwrap. Okay, so this is what it should look like when you unwrap it. It'll be kind of all squished down like this. And so what I need to do is hit G Y and just move it up to where the text, to where the rust is. And now if I go um, into textured mode, you can see it's kind of all stretched out, and we need to fix it. First of all, hit Control up on your keyboard to maximize this window, give you a little more room to work. And you notice that this top edge is very curved, while of course our image is square. So very easy to fix that. Just hold down Alt and right click on this top edge loop and hit S, Y, 0. And it will be all flat. Do the same thing with this one. S, Y, 0. S, oops. S, Y, 0. Alt, right click, S, Y, 0. 